nothing's impossible. It just really hasn't been done yet. Lunchtime in Emmy Vale, and every week, 80,000 ducks leave Silver Hill Foods for tables around the world. Stuart Steele's innovations allow nothing go to waste. Everything from the feathers, which are turned into pillows, to the manure, which is used for fertilizer, is recycled. And later this week, Silver Hill will even be feeding the Ryder Cup. There would only probably be six major duck breeds in the world, and Silver Hill would be one of them. What we do differently, we, we don't supply our breed worldwide, so we keep it ourselves. Other duck producers will produce volume-wise, but we do everything by hand. And the reason we do that is to guarantee the consistency and quality that our customers demand and expect. For example, an egg, before it is hatched and becomes a day old, it can be handled upwards of eight times. Duck is a very good uh, bird to handle. You can use every single part of the duck. And likewise, a lot of us have eaten every single part of the duck. We do everything. We do raw, frozen. We do ready meals. We would do confit leg with garlic potatoes and pepper sauce. Basically, we come up with a new product every single week. In China, they, they say we eat with our eyes, but they eat with their mouth. We would export our tongues, uh, our feet, um, out to China, and it's a great delicacy out there, and it's very, very nice as well. Ireland is a very high-cost place, and getting more and more so every day. There's a lot of cheap imports coming in, but we took the decision that cheap imports actually grew the market. We were always the top 10% of the market, so we're now the top 10% of an even bigger market. Silver Hills Duck Manure Processing Plant is a world first. It's the first time uh, this method or any method has been used in such a large scale to treat manure and to get the green energy associated with manure back out of it. What drives me personally is the fact that uh, what we're doing is, should be impossible and that's great to be able to be growing all the time and, and to be beating the odds all the time. It's great that I can always pop up because I travel so much and it's great during work hours I can pop up for two minutes and see the kids and Helen. It's brilliant. My mother and father moved here over 45 years ago. It's 90 miles north of Dublin and it was as close to Dublin as they could afford. They started off, my mother wanted to do chickens, my father wanted to do turkeys. So like any good marriage, I suppose, they compromised and did ducks. Bounce as high as you can, Hal. Everything used to be here on Silver Hill. Our house is here, the old hatchery is here. A number of years ago, I converted it and it's now my wife Helen, her art gallery. I love the fact that this is a family company and it, it's one of the major things that keeps me going. And I love the idea that someday maybe my children might take it over and run it as well, all going well.